Greetings from Florida. The warmth of being home is a reminder why I've chosen public service. From joining the United States Navy and serving in Iraq, to representing the people in the U.S. Congress, and now serving as governor of Florida. And it reminds me why I decided to run for president, to fight for those who have been forgotten in this country. This is America's time for choosing. We can choose to allow a border invasion, or we can choose to stop it. We can choose reckless borrowing and spending, or we can choose to limit government and lower inflation. We can choose political indoctrination, or we can choose classical education. These choices are symptoms of the underlying struggle to ensure that constitutional government can endure and that Western civilization can survive. And we launched this campaign to bring accountability to government, regain sovereignty at our border, and restore sanity to our society. We cannot succeed as a country if we allow our nation to be invaded, our currency to be debased, our cities to crumble, and our kids to be indoctrinated. The D.C. elites who facilitated this mess do not care about you, and they do not work for you. They work for themselves. They seek to accumulate power at your expense to pursue an agenda that is harmful to the American people. Citizens do not serve politicians. It is the duty of politicians to serve you. Talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words. Reversing the decline of this nation requires leadership that delivers big results for the people we are elected to serve. I have a record of leading with conviction, championing an agenda marked by bold colors, delivering on my promises, and defeating the people who are responsible for our nation's decline. That is the type of leadership we need for all of America. Now, over the past many months, Casey and I have traveled across the country to deliver a message of hope that decline is a choice and that we can, in fact, succeed again as a nation. Nobody worked harder, and we left it all out on the field. Now, following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. I'm proud to have delivered on 100% of my promises, and I will not stop now. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. They watch his presidency get stymied by relentless resistance, and they see Democrats using lawfare this day to attack him. Well, I've had disagreements with Donald Trump, such as on the coronavirus pandemic and his elevation of Anthony Fauci, Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. That is clear. I signed a pledge to support the Republican nominee, and I will honor that pledge. He has my endorsement because we can't go back to the old Republican guard of yesteryear, a repackaged form of warmed over corporatism that Nikki Haley represents. The days of putting Americans last, of kowtowing to large corporations, of caving to woke ideology are over. I thank all of our passionate supporters who have stood by us through it all, that we had people volunteer to come to Iowa in the middle of a blizzard to knock on doors and make phone calls touched us dearly. No candidate had more thrown at him, but no candidate had so many committed volunteers and staff. Finally, I want to thank my wife, Casey, and our kids, Madison, Mason, and Mamie. Casey's gone far above and beyond in her support for our campaign and for our cause. She's not only a great wife and mother, she's a great American who cares deeply about the future of the country that our kids will inherit. Our kids have seen and done a lot on the trail, from playing on the famed Field of Dreams baseball site in Iowa to making their first snowman in New Hampshire. They are one of the reasons we fight so hard for what we believe in. Winston Churchill once remarked that success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. While this campaign has ended, the mission continues. Down here in Florida, we will continue to show the country how to lead. Thank you and God bless.